I know it's here somewhere. Finally, finally. Oh, it's time for the duck. You're listening to Dr. Bill, the computer curmudgeon. Ah, take it away, doctor. Dr. Bill, the computer curmudgeon, is brought to you this week by Roku. Well, it's that time again, and the doctor is in. It's time for another Dr. Bill, the computer curmudgeon, netcast. And I trust you're having a good time this week with all your tech. We have some interesting things to talk about. Yes, and strange tech things as well, as well as a little geek culture and humor. And we always like to throw that in just for good measure. By the way, we are proud members of the Tech Podcast Network, techpodcast.com. If it's tech, it's right here on Dr. Bill, the computer curmudgeon. I trust that you're checking out all of the Tech Podcast sites. My goodness, Geek News Central and Category 5 TV and Geekazine and all the different shows. I can't mention all of them because there's just too many. you got to go to techpodcast.com and check them out. It will be good for you because it's all geeky, and I know you love the geekiness. Yes. Alrighty, let's talk about some of the things that we have this week. First item up this week is we have a super price on a Dropbox alternative. Now, you know that I love Dropbox. I love my Dropbox, and I use the free version. If you sign up for Dropbox, by the way, you can get 5 gig free. And then as you get more people referred to the site uh, through your link, uh, then you uh, get additional space. And you get space for other things along the way as they have little things, you know, they say uh, if you'll upload your phone videos and pictures to Dropbox, they'll add a little more space and so forth. And so I've gotten on up to about 8.1 gig of space on my Dropbox account, which is cool, and it's free, and I like it. Uh, it's very handy. I can use it in Linux. I can use it in Windows. If I had a Mac, I could use it in a Mac, but I don't have a Mac, so oh well. <laughs> and uh, I can look at it on my smartphone, my Droid phone. Uh, all kinds of stuff that you can do with Dropbox. Well, there is a new service, or a different service, at least new to me. I hadn't heard of it. Uh, and that is OnlineStorageSolution.com. Long name. But the claim to fame here is that for $2 a month, you have to sign up for two years, that's the caveat, but for $2 a month, you can have unlimited storage, and they have drag and drop uploading and drag and drop between folders inside the application and public file sharing without a password, with and without a password actually. Uh, shared folder collaboration, user management, permission management, custom views, media sharing, file editing, advanced external application file viewing and editing, and lots of different clients as well. And it supports Linux, which for me is important because I'm a Linux dude, know what I'm saying? So check that out. That's an interesting little alternative to Dropbox. Now I still love Dropbox, but I tell you, if I ever need totally unlimited space, that's that looks awfully handy to do. You know what I'm saying? Yes. All right. Yahoo was hacked this past week. Yahoo was hacked with 450,000 passwords compromised. Now, Yahoo claims that these are all old passwords that have been around a long time, and therefore they don't count. Yeah, well, they are looking to uh, try to fix it. Uh, fix the problem. But uh, in the meantime, if you have a Yahoo account, I would encourage you to go ahead and change your password anyway. You know what I'm saying? Yes. Whoa! A little early in the show, Geek Software of the Week. <laughs> but okay, it's Geek Software of the Week time. And this week we have a Geek Software of the Week that's kind of handy. And that is a freebie called Win Merge. WinMerge is an open source project and of course they're for free. It is for Windows as Win would imply. WinMerge. And the merging part 
is that you can compare one directory with another directory, let's say a USB drive with a directory on your hard drive, or something, or two directories, or whatever, even a network directory, and merge them together so that they have the same contents, which is pretty handy. Yes. And of course, being open source, it is good. I'm a big open source advocate. Yes. So, last time, <laughs> well, not last time, but some time ago, on the show where I ate Han Solo's foot, <laughs> you're going, what? <laughs> yes, it was Han Solo frozen in carbonite, but he was really chocolate. So I ate his foot. Oh, well. Anyway, <laughs> so on that show, if you want to go back and find that in the archives, you can see stupid user tricks. We have some more stupid user tricks for you. Ha <laughs> ha. I love these. These are real stories that a customer service person wrote down after they occurred. I am not making these up. Customer says, I received the software update you sent, but I'm still getting the same error message. Tech support dude says, well, did you install the update? Customer says, no. Am I supposed to install it to get it to work? Yes. <laughs> Customer, I clicked remove pending deals and now the pending deal is gone. <laughs> yes, that is correct. <laughs> Customer, do I have to be online to make an online backup? Yes. <laughs> See, I would have a hard time answering these folks. I'd, I'd be wanting to say, you are an idiot and trying very hard not to. Customer, how many pins does a 16-pin cable have? Guess. <laughs> Count them. Customer, I have a message on my screen that says disk full. What does that mean? Export, maybe your disk is full. Oh. <laughs> Yes, but wait, there's more. <laughs> Customer to a computer software company. Do I need a computer to use your software? <laughs> yes. Here's one, a haughty caller to Claris Works. Now, Claris Works is long gone. This is very old, obviously. Claris Works Q began haranguing me about the Claris Works she just bought. When her tirade had baited enough for me to ask a few probing questions, she explained that the box promised a word processor, but there wasn't one inside. I asked her to insert the disk from the box into her computer. Computer? I don't have a computer! Well, ma'am, Claris Works requires a computer. From there, she became irate. She dragged in two levels of supervisors, several lawyers. Later, I was nearly placed on the sacrificial altar. For what it's worth, we never laughed, and we always maintained a professional demeanor because the customer is always right, even when they're complete idiots. <laughs> okay. Uh, user, question to customer support. What program do I use? to make a Word document? Well, actually, you could use LibreOffice and save it as a Word document. So, just saying. Um, <laughs> here's one that really got me. This one actually did kind of do me in a bit. I'll see if I can get through it. Once I got a call, in the office from a coworker, let's call him Joe User, not his real name, to help him figure out his username. He knew his password. Check this out. He knew his password. That, that alone is amazing. So I said, your username is Joe User. He says, unacceptable. How am I supposed to remember that? I can only remember a certain number of things. 
So I said, well, wouldn't one of those things be your own name? He said, I guess I'll have to write it down. So he proceeded to write his own name on a sticky note and attach it to his monitor. <laughs> Some people just shouldn't be allowed to use a computer. You know what I'm saying? Okay, one more, one more. I'm, this is somebody writing in, obviously, here. It says, I'm in fifth grade, and I've recently started using LimeWire. My friend's cousin, who's in second grade, heard about it and wanted to use it, too. The next day, he told me it wasn't working. He proceeded to explain how he got a copper wire, <laughs> dipped it in lime juice, and attached it to his computer. I couldn't stop giggling the rest of the day. <laughs> okay, some of those were older, <laughs> but still fun. Okay, next item. Oh, how the mighty have fallen. Dig has been bought for a mere half a million dollars. Now, I don't have half a million dollars laying around. If I did, I wouldn't buy Dig with it. But, you know, Dig used to be valued at, like, uh, what was it? Google at one point offered them, like, $20 million for it or something like that. Where is it? Here we go. $200 million in 2008 by Google. They were offered that, and they turned it down. Now they're selling it for $500,000. That's sad that Dig has gone that far downhill, but... It has. It used to be the darling of social networking, and now it's just just another website out there that somebody got half a million bucks for. So hey, I mean that's not bad. <laughs> anyway, so next item: get your game on with the summer Steam sale. Now we're not talking Steam rooms here. You know, like you go get sweaty in. It's summer. You don't need to do that. You can get sweaty right outside. But <laughs> Steam is, of course, the software and web site where you can play online games. Cool stuff. And they're having a sale, big sale. So check it out. Um, they had such things as, for instance, Modern Warfare 3 was $30 instead of $60. Portal 2, $5 instead of $15. Terraria, $2.50 instead of $10. And The Legend of Grimrock, $6 instead of $15. That was just one day sale offerings. So, cool. Check it out. Perhaps you will get your game on as well. <coughs> Sorry about that little dryness of the throat with all these lights on yes by the way speaking of the lights let me transition over to my other camera you see that all these lights I got around me that is what I put up with while I'm doing the show just to light up the world here just saying okay our sponsor this week is Roku has been for several weeks now and I tell you what I really just plain don't know what I do without my Roku box dude I really love my Roku I watch Netflix as I said now Netflix you know that's like eight dollars a month it's fairly inexpensive but you can get programming on Roku that's totally 100 percent free not to mention of course blueberry.com and techpodcast.com and Oh, all kinds of other networks that are available where you can watch movies and shows. I mean, CNET's out there, Twit's out there. Uh, just all kinds of stuff that you can watch, particularly you geeky folks. You would enjoy Roku for the geekiness. Now, here's what you want to do. Go to drbill.tv, the blog, of course, drbill.tv. Go down to the right-hand side. And there'll be like a reddish-orange ad there. Click on that. Click through it. Do this. Click through it. And then buy yourself some Rokus. 
Get one for your bedroom. Get one for your living room. Dude, you will, oh man, you will love it. I love mine. So check it out. All right, let's move on, shall we? We got lots of stuff this week. Boy, we got more stuff than we normally have. And that's a lot. I was talking about Dropbox earlier. Dropbox is also, because of the competition, I imagine, uh, Dropbox has doubled its pro offering. You know, you can buy larger amounts of space in what they call their Dropbox, Dropbox Pro. That's hard to say. Dropbox Pro. And they have upped their, they've actually doubled their space for what they're offering. So uh, if you bought the 50 gig space, it has now doubled to 100 gig. 100 gig, dude. 200 gig, uh, 100 gig space is doubled to 200 gig and so forth and so forth and so forth. And they have added a 500 gig, half a terabyte of space as well for around $4.99 a year, dude. So that's pretty awesome. So the cloud computing uh, storage space is heating up. It is summertime, so it's heating up. Get it? Yeah. Okay. Anyway, you heard me talk about the Raspberry Pi. Pi. P-I. <laughs> well, that is $35 for the Raspberry Pi. And it's a little bitty card that has a whole computer on it and can run Linux. Well, guess what? A company in Korea has come out with a quad-core small card computer that is, uh, let's see, quad-core, but it's also 1.4 gigahertz quad-core and comes with a gig of memory instead of 250 meg. Dude, much more powerful. And it will run Linux as well. And you can build hobby stuff around it. It still has the uh, has lots of USB ports. Looks like it has one, two, three, four, five, six USB ports. Uh, Ethernet card, uh, SD connector, all kinds of stuff. I've got a picture on the website that's just a little tiny bit larger than actual size. It is more expensive. It's $129 for this card. But Dude, you could do all kinds of cool stuff with it. I mean, the geekiness alone makes it worthwhile. You know what I'm saying? Dude. So check it out. Yes. Now, boy, we had a lot of stuff this week. But it was worthwhile going over it. So remember, until next time, that the doctor is out of here. Dr. Bill the Computer Curmudgeon is a production of DrBillBailey.net with all the honors, rights, and privileges thereunto appertaining.